Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my zine, your digital fashion magazine. You guys just seem to love my fashion trends videos, and I'm going to be honest, you're not my favorite to watch or make, but you guys seem to really love it. So today, I'm bringing you my fall fashion trend prediction. I went on my Pinterest board, my latest like outfit um, saves and pins, my wish list of like fashion items I would love to have, and I basically just tried picking what is common in there and what I think will be absolutely trending this fall so without further ado i hope you guys like this video and let's just start talking okay so first thing i think it's gonna start becoming trendy this fall but maybe it will only like actually be super worn next year because it's starting out i really want to order a pair of these and it's pattern ties so basically like flower ties squared ties even like tights where one leg is like yellow and the other one is like green you can spice up your skirts and shorts outfits back in december i think it was i was at the harper bazaar in new york and there was a girl there that i actually interviewed i tried to put some clips here and she was selling print tights that she actually printed herself like i think she made the patterns she draw them and then she printed them onto tights and that was the first time that i actually saw such cool tights for sale and i was obsessed with them i love them and i'm just here for it especially with maximalism rising this year we just want to maximize our outfit to the most so if you're wearing ties you might as well be wearing fun ties next trend um and i don't think this is new to anyone but it's ties we're gonna be seeing ties everywhere guys and there's so many ways of styling them you can style them as a scarf you can put them on top of a dress on top of a shirt loose tight i've seen so many outfits that i love with ties and i think they're going to be the new scarf this fall especially in fall where you don't really have to be wearing super hot and warm um scarves get to your grandpa's closet while you can that's what i'm doing and also best way to buy ties since they are so light is going to like thrift shops by the pound i bought my first tie at a goodwill in brooklyn um and i paid like one dollar for it because you just pay about a pound and obviously there's... that's my tip on to the next one next one i remember seeing a ton of fashion students wearing this Last fall, so it's not like necessarily super new, but I think it's again coming to the mainstream stores this year and it's leg warmers and loose, um, like scrunchy socks. I was watching Lainey Ozark's trend predictions video, she's a big inspiration, go subscribe to her, and she was talking about loose, scrunched socks. So I decided to combine that with leg warmers because they kind of give a similar vibe. I was a ballerina, a ballet and contemporary dance ballerina for 12, 13 years of my life. And it, I have to admit it, it's a little bit weird for me to be seeing leg warmers as outside wear and not just like ballet class core. But at the same time, as much as it's strange to me, it's also so familiar that I feel like I, as a ballerina, have to be wearing it outside because like I actually am going to probably go dip into my mom's house and search for my old leg warmers which i believe were pink and i really want some white pair ones but i don't know i just think again with maximalism we're just taking everything every type of accessory we can out of the closet get your long socks out of the drawer get your ballet leg warmers out of the drawer and let's just do a ballet party and with ballet stuff comes ballet flats and i'm not going to talk about this for long everything that's ballet core and especially ballet flats flats in general it's it's Oh, it's so funny because right now we are in everything that's opposite it's kind of trending and i don't remember seeing that in fashion history never you have low rise you have high waist you have big ass naked wolf platforms and you have literally ballerina flats that are like the flattest of a shoe you can have and they're both trending next trend and i'm sort of wearing it right now it's holes everywhere this summer we saw the crochet stuff we saw the subversive tops where you have like holes on the tops um not on the pins yet but like crochet hold stuff crochet holds dresses and i think we're going to be having a lot of like sweaters with holes sweatshirts with holes and i was talking about this in the other video but maybe i cut it because i don't really know how to say it without sounding stupid but hear me out the items that we used to associate with like goth styles when we were in like seventh grade you wouldn't wear a sweater with holes when you were in seventh grade unless you were like a hard-on 
goth, if that makes any sense. I, I hate talking like in a generalist way, but like, just hear me out, okay? And what I feel like is happening is those items from that specific aesthetic that we were seeing in seventh grade, they're coming back. Okay, next up we have two colors, and the first one I've talked about a bunch in this channel, and it's gray, very gray right now. I don't want to repeat myself, but I used to feel like gray and brown were boring colors. I used to never buy anything brown or green because for me it's like, you're not gonna be wearing gray, you're gonna be wearing black. Like, black is classy, green is not cool. Gray is not cool. Brown and gray for me were just like meh colors and they didn't have like, they, they didn't have the cool to it. Now I've been wearing so much gray and if I did that in summer, I'm definitely gonna do that in fall. I'm definitely not innovating. Um, you probably have seen a ton of Y2K gray focused outfits, but gray is here and fall is the best time to wear it. So it might not be the happiest color, but it's here. And I can bet to you that it will just become more and more and more popular. So that's my prediction. And then also red. Now red is like black almost. It's not that it ever goes out of trend. And it's funny because when I was in like 10th grade, I used to tell my boyfriend I didn't like red. And he would tell me that when I was like older and more mature, I would like red more. And guess what? Now I have wear red pants and red purses and I want to put a red lipstick on, but I don't think I'm the only one. I think it's becoming a trend. So that's my prediction. Gray and red are going to be bombing. And obviously like we're going to be seeing greens and oranges and pops of like big pops of colors and black and white, but like these are like the two colors that I feel like weren't as popular last year and are gonna be more popular this year. Next up, we've got two materials and maybe you're gonna laugh at me for the first one, but it's leather. The leather is like a staple, it's never going out of trend, but I feel like we're gonna be seeing more colored leather, like green leather, red leather, red and green leather jackets, um, green leather purses, even like green leather shoes. And I also think that fur is gonna rise this year. Um, we were seeing last year like the fur sleeves, fur sleeve little jackets, starting the like fur boots. I think those are going to absolutely rise this year. And I think we're gonna be seeing fur in a ton more things. Like I bought that jacket. I don't know if you saw like my grease thrifting video. I bought that fur brown jacket and that's just a great example. Maybe even fur and pants for those who are like a little bit more crazy. Not sure, but I think somehow brands will put a lot more fur and stuff. Okay, next up, going back to the maximalism, obviously we're gonna be seeing a ton of layers. I think we're gonna be seeing them especially in two ways. The first being wearing a top and then wearing the bra on top of the top and then wearing skirts on top of pants. Now, this is not everyone's cup of tea. If it becomes very popular, it's definitely gonna take a while to get into people's brains, but I think that's gonna be cool. Okay, last but not least, we have ruffles. And I, last year, if you told me this, I would say ruffles are not cool, and I don't usually like ruffles, but I was searching for dresses for my best friend's wedding, and yes, I have a friend that's getting married, um she's like she's like seven years older than me but like i'm so happy um anyways i was looking for dresses for her wedding and i couldn't find anything that i liked and then i started searching for like 70 80 90s dresses and i found these style of dresses that i feel like my mom would probably have worn like 30 years ago or my grandma i don't even know but it's those dresses that have like ruffles i don't know if they're called ruffles but like you'll see the images on the skirt top or even on the top and I think you're gonna be seeing that also when like a lot of vintage uh, blouses and shirts. Um, maybe like on the flared pants perhaps. And yeah guys, those were my fall 2022 trend predictions. It's crazy that we're almost, not almost, but like we're near winter. And last winter was when I made my fashion students predict what trends are gonna die in 2022 and that video was my first viral video that got me a lot of the ones oh my god comment down below if you found my channel through that video because i feel like everyone watching this probably has found my channel from that video because i got so many subscribers on that video but yeah it's crazy that it's almost one year since then and um i would have never thought that you guys liked seeing this so much so thank you and comment down below, obviously, your trend predictions, what you think about mine, 
um let's just make this topic fun and that's everything if you want to follow my zine on instagram i have the digital fashion magazine version of it there i will have my personal instagram if you want to follow me and i have a playlist on spotify that's public where i put all the music that's on my videos because you guys seem to really like it and i think that's it so without further ado i'll see you next week and that's it <laughs> bye